I found Notion. What I didn't find was a way to create a birthday calendar for my contacts. Well, that's all changed. I found it. I'm going to share this with you guys. Enjoy. Let's get started. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is add a page. So this page is going to be my home page, and we'll have that as an empty page. The next page I want to create is a page for contacts, and we'll create that as a database. So let's populate this. Let's see if we can get some people in here. So. So John, what we're going to do, we actually don't want a tag, we want a date. We need to give that a name, so we say date of birth. Alright, so John's date of birth for our purposes. In fact, I'll throw all this data in. And uh, Okay, welcome back. I've put the date of births in for our four contacts. Now at this point, I don't like to touch the database. I'd like to have a new view for when I'm actually creating views on the database. So if we go back to home, there we go. Home is our blank screen. What I'll do is create a little bit of structure here. So put a heading for views, and I might do a heading for databases. We've got this context database over here, so let's see if we can drag that. All right, there's our context database. We'll make it even easier for us to understand what it is. Let's create an icon. There we go. There's our contacts. So let's create a view. I'm going to make this page. This page we're going to call it birthday calendar. In this page, we are going to start with it empty and we're going to link our database. In this case, our database is our contacts database. All right, there's our people. Now, I don't know if you see the problem here, but if we go calendar, hit create for our birthdays calendar, nobody is showing up in June. We go back, we can see Jake on the 29th of May, but that's the only person that's showing up. We go forward into July, nobody shows up there either. And if you have a look at the table view, you'll see. Although their birthdays are May, June, and July, because of the year, they won't show up in the calendar. We need to fix that. So, like I said, I like to work every, everything in the database and then come back and have our separate views. So, we won't need this files column. So, let's change into a formula. In this case, I'm going to call it age. So let's see if we can create an age. Now, so we get date between. So what we want is the date between uh, it should be properly called now. So let's see if we can find that. now and our date of birth and we want to know the difference in years. Okay, so that worked. 
So now we have the ages of, of everybody. That's still not enough for us to f get them to show on a birthday calendar. We need to get June 19, but we need it to say 2020. So this is how we'll do that. We'll create one more formula. Now it needs to be a date formula. So we'll just go birth a birthday. Edit the formula. All right. So what we want to do is we want to do a date add. We're going to take our original date in the date field. So we've got date, number, and text. So we're going to take our original date, in this case date of birth. We're going to add the age plus one because so we want their upcoming date of birth and we want to say what we're adding is additional years to that original date. All right, now that should have worked. So we go back to home, back into our birthday calendar. And just to make that clearer, let's change that icon. No, not that. Let's try that. There we go. Now if we go into our calendar view, we still don't see anybody in July. Still don't see anybody in June. And that's because in our calendar view, calendar by by date of birth let's do by birthday and there's john in july there's mary if we go back into may we don't see anybody for may i think it was jake that was in may the reason for that is jake's birthday in this calendar this is upcoming birthday there's jake there's Gemma, in may of next year Go back to today. So that's it. Birthday calendar fixed. So I hope that made sense to you guys. Now that I've got the contacts and the birthday calendar, I'm good. One last thing I like to do though is just to have a bit of a peak view of birthdays coming up in the next 30 days. Have that on my homepage. Good chance I'll maybe get a present for them. All right. So we'll do create another link database two contacts. In this case, the view that I want is a gallery view. So call it gallery view. Next, 30 days, create. So now what we want to do is we want to filter this, add our filter where the birthday is is on or before one month from now all right so we've got mary and john the birthday's coming up but let's show a little bit more data so we don't need a preview we'll make the card size small Get their birthday. Now the problem here is we put the age, that's their current age. What I want to know is what age they're turning. So let's stop at this point, go back into our database. Let's go birthday age. Let's make this a formula. Now this will be an easy formula. So we click in here, edit formula. We're going to take age plus one. Done. All right, I think that works. Let's go back. Let's go here. Let's go properties. Birthday age. All right, I've got a birthday calendar. Now, what I might do is just have little heading upcoming birthdays stick that there. all right let's make this even clearer just a little bit of formatting
And there you have it. A database of contacts, a birthday calendar, you see next 12 months of every contact where you have a date of birth and a gallery view of upcoming birthdays. Just one final thing on my homepage. Once I've done everything I like, I like to lock it off. If you want to make any edits, I can make it in the birthday calendar or in the database. Hope you enjoyed it.